Josie here with BioMD, and it is our personal passion at BioMD to make sure that buyers are educated about the products that they buy, and we are here to educate you so that you can make an informed purchase. So it seems like more and more people these days are talking about a thing called terpenes. So what are terpenes and what impact do they have on CBD oil? CBD is a cannabinoid that's only present in the cannabis sativa plant. However, terpenes, which are similar to cannabinoids, are present in all kinds of plants. And there are about a hundred different known cannabinoids. However, there are more than 200 known terpenes. Now more generally speaking, terpenes are the chemicals that make the smell or taste that we associate with plants. There's also a class of chemicals known as terpenoids, which are just terpenes that have been oxidized. So most terpenes are associated with the taste and flavor. Menthol is a great example of a terpene. We get the flavor of menthol from a terpenoid. Now this particular taste and smell is a result of the composition of terpenes within the plant. This terpene composition can vary based on the plant's strain. So in addition to taste and flavor, it turns out that terpenes might have a biological function as well. Now if you really think about this, this makes sense. Cannabinoid are a subgroup of terpenes, and we know that cannabinoids do play a biological impact when we consume them. Cannabinoids are a subgroup of terpenoids and they play a role in the functions of the body similar to how cannabinoids interact with our endocannabinoid system to produce their desired effects. Most terpenes are safe to consume and are on the list of the FDA's generally recognized as safe foods and flavorings. So if you're concerned about terpenes making the product unsafe, you don't have to worry, they're completely safe and the FDA recognizes them as safe. And they can be consumed in high amounts without any ill effects. Mixtures of terpenes do exist in CBD so long as they are full spectrum or broad spectrum. There are no terpenes present in isolate CBD. So limonene is a form of terpene and it has been associated with the citrus smell and it was actually first found within citrus fruit peels. Limonene is thought to be the second most widely distributed terpene in plants. And in addition to flavoring, limonene has also been used in skin products to help improve the penetration of products into skin. The limonene terpene is also thought to have stress relieving effects and help elevate mood. Another common terpene is the pinene, which as you can imagine is found in pine and also rosemary. Pinene terpenoids have been shown to help with some inflammation, however more tests on the human body need to be conducted in order to conclusively state if they can help with things like asthma and breathing conditions. Some promise has been shown in these areas, but we still have to be sure. Myrcene is considered to be one of the most prevalent terpenes that is found in cannabis plants. It is considered to make up more than half of the terpenes found in cannabinoids, and it's also found in other plants like mangoes and thyme and lemongrass and bay leaves. Most people will describe the smell of myrcene as earthy or musky with a hint of spiciness. And myrcene is thought to have many health benefits. It is useful for relaxation and it has some sedative effects. Therefore, some of the possible benefits could be help with inducing sleep and help with issues of insomnia. Now, some people have experienced its antioxidation properties and anti-inflammatory properties, so it might have some use with pain management, although these areas need to be studied further. Linalool can be found in many other plants besides cannabis. It is thought to have been in over 200 plants. Many describe the scent as lavender, which makes sense because linalool is found in lavender and rosewood. And it is actually used in many different foods and fragrances. And you might be familiar with this, but the scent of linalool has been used in anti-anxiety 
and it is shown to have some sedative benefits. I mean, you've seen them in essential oils. Very, very common to have a lavender scented essential oil. It has a calming effect on the body, which is why we love putting lavender in so many things. Some research has shown that linalool lowered anxiety and depression in mice. However, there needs to be more studies conducted for humans. Now, how do terpenes play into the entourage effect? By this point, you've probably heard a few times of the entourage effect. The entourage effect, real quick, is basically the synergistic effect of all the components within the cannabis sativa plant working together to generate an effect that is greater than just experiencing one component of the sativa plant. The entourage effect is usually a term that we use to describe full spectrum or broad spectrum CBD. So it is usually the full spectrum or the broad spectrum that will include the terpenes of the plant. And as you can see, they do have a biological impact on the body that works really well together with CBD and the THC components. Now it makes sense as to why the various strains can cause different effects because it can contain any variety and composition of terpenes which all have their own distinct flavors and effects. This is why you may find it useful to not only look at the percentage of CBD or other cannabinoids in your CBD products but also the composition of its terpenes because the terpenes can contribute to the different benefits that you might experience. Which is why finding one that aligns with your desires is so important. So yeah, in summary, the cannabis sativa plant contains a variation of chemicals, including cannabinoids and terpenes. All of these can have an effect on the body and research is still being done to see what these effects might be. However, we are beginning to see the possibility that terpenes can have on the body. And obviously more research needs to be done till we can fully know the effect of terpenes. Keeping all of this in mind, maybe next time when you look at the lab results of your CBD oil products, you will look not only at cannabinoids, but also at the terpene composition in the product that you seek to buy. I hope this was informative and good luck.